Hi guys, it's Wilma. Welcome to my video. Today I don't really have any sort of plan of what I want to talk about, but I wanted to show you all this drawing that I made recently and I figured that I would just like talk about whatever comes to mind. Usually I do have like some sort of idea or plan for what I'm gonna talk about. But yeah, recently I drew this portrait with colored pencils. Honestly, it's been quite a while since I did a portrait with colored pencils. And and this one was just so much fun to make and it kind of felt like the good old days where art was actually enjoyable. Wow, that was so depressing. But I've just really been struggling lately with kind of enjoying making art and I have not really felt super passionate about it. Um, I think there's a lot to that. There's a lot of things changing in my life and I just like don't really know how I'm gonna be able to fit art into my life as much as I have before. And part of that is kind of affecting, you know, my art and how I feel about it when I make it. And I just like, I don't really have any plans with it, which honestly I'm kind of fine with because art has been in my life for so long and art is not my job. I have never really made a lot of money from it um, and that has never really been my intention either. I've kind of gone back and forward with wanting to make it my full-time job and then being like mm, I don't really know if I want to do that because I feel like I would lose the love that I have for it if I did that and I don't really want to do commissions so I've just been like very back and forward with it and obviously like I've always loved art with all of my heart and I do believe that it's something that I'm gonna do for the rest of my life and you know whether that's by making money off of it or not I don't think that that matters to me but yeah I've just been like in a very weird stage where I haven't really felt as passionate about it but I still have this attachment to it because I've been doing it for so long and like even if I don't necessarily enjoy it all the time I still want to make art. I think that's like a very natural thing. I don't think any artist would say that they always enjoy the process of making art and throughout all of my art making history I've always been through a lot of ups and downs with enjoying it and then not enjoying it as much but I've always kept going and I know that it is something that I want to do and you know something that's gonna be in my life forever but yeah I've just felt a little bit lost with it lately mostly probably because of the fact that like my life it's not a mess but it's just like a lot of unknowns right now and um well not unknowns it's just like a lot is happening and I don't know really where art fits into the picture but as I said like a million times by now it's always gonna be in my life um, anyway, I do also want to talk a little bit about this portrait. So, as I said in the beginning, this is the first colored pencil drawing portrait that I've done for such a long time. I think, I honestly can't remember the last time I did a colored pencil portrait, so I think that says enough. Honestly, the whole process of this was just really enjoyable for me. I did struggle with a few proportional things but that's okay because that happens like every single time that I make art. Other than that like the whole process went so smoothly and I really enjoyed the process of it and that has been kind of rare lately. That probably ties into the fact that I just haven't felt very passionate about art. But I don't know, it's like this strange thing where even if I'm not passionate, I kind of still am. Like, I'm still gonna keep going. There's like nothing that anyone could do to make me give up on art, even if I hate it. Even if I don't enjoy the process in the slightest, I just can't give up on art because <laughs> it's like such a big part of me and I genuinely believe that it always will be. Um, anyway, now I, now I like jump back to talking about what I was talking about earlier, but yeah process was really enjoyable and I am in love with how it turned out. I tried a few new things with this one. One of the things is that there is kind of a lot of shadows in her face and I haven't really worked with a lot of those types of references or portraits. Um, so that was really fun to do and then I did like my classic thing. I like to add a lot of eyes to the face when I'm doing portraits. 
And then I did some little leaves around the head with some eyes in it because I kind of thought that that looked cool and if you want to add some meaning into it, go ahead. I am not really sure what the meaning is. I'm sure there is some meaning, but I couldn't tell you what it is. But yeah, I, I thought that it looked really cool and I don't know, I really like to play with Sorelli's because I think that it makes the portrait, especially with portraits, I think it makes it look so interesting and I just like, I can't do boring portraits. I just, I don't enjoy that. And soon you're gonna be able to see that I added a black background to this portrait, which a lot of my portraits, I will usually just leave the background white or I'll do like a pretty colorful background, but I don't know if I have like, mm, I probably have, but I rarely do what I did for this portrait, which is that I added a black background. Now, let me tell you guys, my hand was cramping because I decided to do the background all in colored pencils because I felt like that would look the best and I considered maybe doing like acrylic but that would make the paper kind of buckle and bend so I was like I'm just gonna do colored pencils like I have a lot of black pencils um so if I run out of this one black pencil it's not the biggest deal so I ended up doing that it took me honestly not as long as I thought it would and all in all, I finished this portrait in like three days total, which is pretty rare. Like the whole process of it and just all of it, it went so smoothly and so quick. And I don't know why, but yeah, I really enjoyed the process so much. And I am absolutely in love with how it turned out. I think that that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, this video might have been a little bit more of a mess with what I talked about just because I wasn't sure what to even talk about in the beginning. Um, but either way, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully my thoughts made sense. I'm gonna go and make some more art. Hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Take care, have a great day and yeah, bye.